Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. Your Sambo and Seraphis, our black and red clad supervillain. And if you joined us in our last episode, you might remember we made it halfway through this Joker Funhouse. We're in the Amusement Mile, doing one of my favorite quest areas, favorite quest zones, all to do with the Joker. It's fantastically done, great artwork, great sounds, great concepts. And here we are on a quest called The Last Laugh. Enter the Funhouse to protect Harley, and of course that's Harley Quinn, and the Toxin Formula from Robin and the Gotham City PD. So, what do we have to do? We have to find and assist Harley Quinn, who's one of my favorites, because she's so bonkers. So here we go, we're, where are we? We drop down, as you can see, that big yellow hole in the roof there. That's where we drop down into the lower level of this Funhouse. Uh, that's where we left off last episode, so let's get right into it now. And of course I can see over there a collectible. We can't let ourselves get past a collectible without picking it up. Let's see what it has for us. The X's over Yay! The eyes. A little nice. Nice. And of course these mobs are now level 14, so they're actually uh, a whole level above us. So we're having to be just a little bit careful, we can't run in guns blazing. And if you were watching my last episode, you know that that's exactly what I did, and I suffered the consequences of that by dying two or three times. So we just got to be a little bit careful, because these guys aren't a cakewalk, that's for sure. Alright, let's pull, pull these one by one. Make sure, of course, we lock onto the target so that we don't accidentally aggro another lot. Because at this sort of level, we can't afford to do that and we will most definitely die. Well, this guy doesn't seem to be taking any damage whatsoever. What is going on? Let's roll out of the way. Okay, he appears to be bugged, maybe. Come on. It's Harley! Bird brain is totally robbing the place, huh? Oh, like I haven't heard that joke before. You want to throw down? You got it. All right, let's see if we can get this officer now. Oh, now he's decided that it's okay Stand to hurt down. him. I must admit, since the update 2 patch, there have been some interesting, quirky little bugs up here. Here's my sidekick. So I'm assuming that it's because of some kind of small issues in the patch, but anyway. Uh-oh, it's Robin! Let's make sure we get out our battle droid. Let's have a drink to make sure we've got lots of power. Lock onto Robin. So that we concentrate all of our efforts on him, I think. And he seemed to be resistant to our fear gas. And he's flying all over the place. Well, you'll get a kick out of this. All right, let's bring up our battle droid to make sure we've got a bit of a helping hand. Come on, let's play catch. Oops, grounded. Hey, Alright, so it's saying stay away from Robin's spinning staff. Hey, where are you going? I've got a surprise for you. Pipe down over there, or you'll speak to my staff. Man down! And I must say, it's very hard to get near him. He keeps knocking us back. Got something I want to show you. Come here. Leave comedy to the professional. Now, if you're wondering who the voice is for Robin, if that sounds familiar, it, of course, is Will Wheaton, who was famous, of course, for being Wesley in Star Trek The Next Generation, but more recently, a bit of a, a geek hero. He's been in The Guild, um, Eureka, a whole bunch of shows. Slowly beating him down, got him down to about 30%. Our health is about 50. Come 
Let's just let him come to us, I think. And he certainly likes knocking us down, that's for sure. And this is going to actually be a close match because we're running out of health, so I think it's time to have a drink. We'll use the taser, use some fear gas on him. Hopefully he's not resistant to that, resistant rather to that. Bring out our battle droid for the last phase of the fight. Give him a sticky grenade to deal with. And let's go to town on him. Oh, and for some reason, he's unlocked as a target. I don't know why that is, because we locked him on. Why would that happen? No idea. Come on, leap in towards him. For some reason, I just can't get near him. Oh, and don't tell me he's... Oh, there we go. Okay, we finally got him, and we got a blue item. later. That's right, man down. Right, let's have a look in our inventory because it looks like we've got a nice blue item and our gear is getting very broken. Uh, what is this? It's a back item. The style is retro tech, not collected. That's good. Lots of defense, 20 extra defense, 12 extra health, and 9 precision. So we'll definitely be using that, replacing the broken gear that we've got. Uh, what's that? 17 health and 9 might. But we lose a lot of power and we seem to be running out of power, so I think we'll keep that. We will use this neck though because it gives us extra power and might and we want those. Um, that's probably about it I'd say. Let's just double check the others. Yeah, and of course we should really put uh, the extra soda cola on our health bar because we were running low on that. Alright, we're done. Let's go over and talk to Harley Quinn. Thanks. Too bad Bird Brain got the formula. I hope my pudding, uh, I mean Mr. J, ain't too mad. Hello Harley Quinn, you crazy woman you. They call him the Joker. But my pudding is no joke. He has a dream of a world where everybody is always laughing. A whole world just fucking fit to explode. Come on! Some idiom crazy. But I'm all a little crazy. In love. <laughs> okay, so we got the, um, the 16, or rather the 8-bit version then. <coughs> Excuse me. I have absolutely no idea why sometimes the motion comics get all garbled like that and uh, so does the sound. My apologies. Um, yeah, absolutely no idea. And look at her. She's nuts. She's crazy. Let's open our journal. The last laugh. Complete that. Got a healthy whack of XP. And look at that. We're one uh, bar away from leveling, which is great. And our new objective is to continue to, uh, where do we have to go, to Gotham City, leave the fun house. So let's see if we can find the exit, shall we? There we go. Get back out into the amusement mile. And what does it say? Go to North Burnley Nightclub to continue your mission. Why? I think we can do that. Let's see how far away it is. Alright, not too far. Leaving the amusement mile behind us as we streak across the skies of Gotham City. And as I've been saying in my last few episodes, you know what? It's a real shame because this world is so awesome and look at it, it's basically empty. Um, I just very rarely see another player which is very sad. Um, seems like after the first couple of months of the release of the game, everybody has disappeared. Maybe there's a whole bunch of high-level players that hang about in the main hubs, like, for example, uh, the Tower of Doom. 
or the Watchtower if you're on a villain side of things, uh, rather a hero side of things. Um, but aside from that, I mean, every time I go in there, I see maybe one or two players. But definitely running around out in the world, I just never see anybody anymore. And in fact, I don't really see anyone in the police stations even, which is where you'd think there would be a few people. Party crashes. Ugh. There's more cops here than in a donut convention. Get to Harley and take out the boy blunder. The place is filled with all sorts of jokerized goodies. Help yourself. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a weird message because actually, Joker, we've already done that. So I'm not sure Joker's what you're going on about. And Robin won't be forgetting you anytime soon. Go have a sit down with Two Face to go over the action and uh, remember. Don't stare at either face. Thank you, calculator. And looks like we got a new item there. What do we get? A new chess piece, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's any better than what we already have. But before I forget, let's go buy some sodas and repair our gear. And then we'll hop over and chat to Two Face, which is the next phase of the quest. Fast Freddy, Fast what have Freddy's you got, got for us? Specialized gear, courtesy of the rogues. All right, couple of hundred dollars to repair there. Let's sell this stuff. Uh, what's that? Yeah, we can sell that one. And some stolen research notes. Good, good. Now, where is the vendor that sells the soda? I think it's this woman here. You need any good? Agent Yana. There we go, soda cola. Now these are a little bit rich for our blood, so we'll just get the cheaper ones. We'll get 12 of those. There we go, they're equipped. Jolly good. Now let's just equip these items so that we get the style of them. We're not actually going to wear them, but we're just going to equip them. And then we can sell them. So that one's collected, that one's not. And that one's not collected. There we go. So I just equipped them so that we do get the style in our style tab. You need any goods, friend? And of course, now we can sell them off. Because their stats aren't as good as the stuff we've already got, of course. Oh, come on. Such a slow interface. All right, empty bags. We like that. Let's hop back to Two-Face and see what he has for us. So you took out the boy wonder. No two ways about it. You've got a future in this town. The coin says you live. For now. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Right, let's find that. Where is it? Heads you one. You taught Robin a lesson he soon won't forget and the Joker got away from the cops. Time to have a sit down with Two-Face about the action. Complete that. There we go. All right. So that was the end of the Harley Quinn quest line. What have we got lined up next? Let's see. Ah, there's some hive quests there, lower level that we haven't done. And some CSA bestiomorph stuff. And eh, what else? Meta humans. I think all of these quests appear to be in Metropolis. All right, not these ones though. Okay, so maybe we need to clean out what is it? Burn Baby Burn. Yeah, use Joker heat bombs on the Gotham City Police Department. Burn Baby Burn. Activate that one. What's that? Level 13. So that's our level. That's where we need to go. To go to Gotham City, it says, to continue your mission. No problem. Let's do that. Carrying on the Joker's madness. And hello, CSA. So yeah, as I was saying before, it's certainly a bit of a shame that the game seems to have died down. Uh, a number of you have commented when I've asked in the past um, how populated the PS3 servers are. Uh, by the way, you guys told me that there were two PvP servers and one, uh, rather two PvE servers as well. Um, and that the population is average. So yeah, a bit of a shame all around. 
I would have thought that the update 2 patch might have brought back a few more players to see what was going on and look who knows maybe it actually did but yeah to be honest the streets are still as quiet as ever if I cast my mind back to when the game was first released you couldn't sort of step anywhere without bumping it into another player not anymore all right this is good though we're going back to the amusement mile and it looks like we have to go back inside the fun house well look at that yes thank you Harley Quinn you crazy chick all right what do we have to do Joker blast cops Come on. Oh, interrupts. All right. Oh, stop interrupting me. There we go. All right. One. Ah, it burns. Oh, God, it you burns. won't get away with this scumbag. Alright, 6 out. of 20. And of course the risk here is that they time out before we get a chance to actually Joker Blast them. You can see the green um, ticking away there around that circle that's the timer of course so we've got to get to them before that timer runs out completely oh and of course we're interrupted by another annoying mob who doesn't get pulled in by the taser either give him a sticky bomb that should keep him busy somebody help put it out put it out i got this one I'm hit. where are they coming from just appear out of nowhere it would seem Right, halfway there. Oh, that's right. You just appear when I really don't want you to and annoy and interrupt me. Yeah. All right. You won't get away with this scumbag. Well, actually, I think we will. Oh no, not good, not good. Help. All right, 13 out of 20. Seven more to go. If we can find them. Let's bring out our battle droid this time. Make sure we've got an extra piece of DPS. And yeah, that definitely does make a difference. You won't get away with this scumbag. All right, only four more to go. Whoops, I'm freeing a wisecrack. Oh, actually we do need to do that. Silly me, I forgot about that. Maybe we'll head back because there were a number of them on the way in. I need some help over here, man. Silly me. Okay, so two of those out of ten. And look at that, a loot crate. Just as well we stopped back because I missed that before. Let's see what it gave us. Some shoulders in a style not collected, so we'll definitely take them. But the ones that we have are better, I think. Yeah, so we'll keep the ones we've got. Somebody help! Put it out! Put it out! All right, four of ten of the Joker's henchmen done, and eighteen of twenty of the cops. You won't get away with this. Scumbag. Nearly there, and of course. Most likely I could have done this while we were actually in the instance, but never mind. At least it's a bit of extra XP. Call for backup. Man down. Hands up and weapons down. Ah, 
It burns! Oh god! It burns. I need some help over here, man! Alright, five of ten of the henchmen released, but we've finished the cops. So there we go, burn, baby, burn. And we get a ring, and it doesn't look like it's going to give us much more than what we've already got. That's okay. I got this one. Uh oh, trying to. Oh, look at that. I was trying to break free, trying to drink my drink. It just wouldn't let me break free. I wonder if that's because I was out of power. I don't know. But of course, the other thing I've just realized is that once we start getting deeper into this instance, the mobs suddenly turn into level 14 mobs for no apparent reason. Um, and that makes things a little bit rougher, so we're going to have to pull them up here. Oh no, and I just got pulled down anyway. Well, look at that. Make sure we have a drink. Oh, not again. Let me be free. Oh, that is so annoying got pulled in, couldn't actually break free, and because we were stunned, wasn't able to have a drink. Although it may have been off cooldown, I'm not sure. You know what, this is so annoying and horrible that I just want to exit and come back in and have it reset, but there's no exit. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Okay, just hadn't zoned in. Let's zone out. And zone back in and see if it's reset itself and we can just do the easier mobs at the beginning because it's frustrating and annoying. As much as I love this game, there seem to be a whole bunch of things. Oh, look, it hasn't reset. Oh, bugger. All right. So we've got no choice. Oh, no, not good, not good. All right, let's see if we can perch ourselves up here. No. And maybe just pull one of these guys in if I can target them. Come on. Ah, go, go, go. Wow, I... Okay, I can't explain it because, of course, we've been through here once before. We made it. We're now dying three or four times in a row. All I want are... Uh, the extra mobs for my quest. Give it one more go, but you know what? I honestly can't be bothered. If we die again, oh, I no, think I'm just going to give up. And we'll come in another time when it's fully reset. Um, and do it then. You won't get away with this, scumbag. This is the police. Ah. Uh, Bugger that, folks. I give up. I absolutely give up. Let's have a look at the quest. In fact, first, let's zone out. Ah, what do we got? Where is it? Can't see it. Actually, I can't see it at all. That's weird. So it must just be... Well, I don't know. <clears throat> but there are objectives there, that's for sure. How very strange. All right, let's see if there's anything else in... Gotham before we go. What's this? Hold the line. Hack the defensive. No, that's in... That's... Uh, what's this one? Free Joker goons arrested by the cops. I think... Pretty sure that's the one we were doing. Yeah, go to the Joker's funhouse. So, no, we don't want that. It's in Otisburg, Tomorrow District, Gorilla Island, Chinatown, Little Bohemia. <clears throat> The Hall of Doom. Where's East End? Visit Gotham's East End and explore the Wayne family legacy with Booster Gold. Oh, actually, it's a Booster Gold exploration quest that we haven't done. Maybe that's what we can do to finish up this episode and visit Crime Alley. In fact, you know what? I remembered that I actually wanted to go here because... Let's have a look at this quest again. Here we are, the exploration quest. Um... Explore the Wayne family legacy with Booster Gold. Now, I remember accidentally stumbling across a alleyway and there were some roses on the ground. And I think I've mentioned this before. Um, it's where Bruce Wayne's parents got gunned down. So it's a bit of a famous alley. 
and I think yes this is it it's around here so this is Crime Alley I'll put it into perspective and of course if you've seen the movie The Dark Knight or if, if you are a comic book book fan you'll know about all this but let's, let's just quickly pick up this collectible before I show it to you Experiment 504 the rostral anterior cingulate cortex gives us some semblance of control over our fear. Thank you for that. Alright, so here we have a broken rundown cinema. And of course this is the cinema that the uh, Wayne family went to the movies with. And because he's a personality, he came out the back door, which is around here, out into the back alley. So he would have come out here, I'd imagine. And... Where is the kiosk? Oh, the kiosk is up the top here. Maybe Booster will explain it before I show you. Let's have a look. There are places in Gotham's East End where even Booster Gold fears to tread because they're creepy and dangerous. Worst is Crime Alley. Once an upper class area known as Park Row, Crime Alley got its name from the murder of Thomas and Martha Wayne, two of Gotham's most prominent philanthropists. Their deaths marked Gotham's slide into tragedy and despair. Yeah, that's right, and they also made Bruce turn into Batman, of course, or decide to become Batman. Now, let's see if we can find the roses on the ground. It's somewhere around here. Ah, there we go. You can see it's lit up by a street light, and there's a bunch of roses. And look at that feat achieved. Got an achievement. Visit the Wayne Memorial in Crime Alley. That is it there. That is the memorial. The roses on the ground. And this is where um, Bruce Wayne's parents got gunned down. It's a bit of a... Um, historical spot if you like all right next part of boosters exploration quest is use the free clinic kiosk Let's see if we can find where that is looks like it's nearby yep founded by dr. Leslie Tompkins the East End free clinic offers health care to anyone who seeks it including known criminals it operates under a strict no-violence policy respected by even Gotham's most hostile psychopaths. Here, there is always someone who wants to help. This Booster Gold endorsement was provided free of charge. Well, thank you, Booster Gold. All right, the old Wayne building. So, of course, the old Wayne building, from what I understand anyway, is the original building that Bruce Wayne used um, to start his corporation. And then, of course, he built the Wayne Tech uh, building so this is the original one not the one he's at now as far as I can tell I could be wrong oh hello rookie we just dropped in to say hello This is the original Wayne Enterprises building. The company was founded in the 17th century, and the construction of this building in the 1800s marked the beginning of the, um, beginning for the world's largest multinational conglomerates. Many people in the East End have Wayne Enterprises to thank for improving their lives. There we go, that's basically what I said, I think. <laughs> All right, and that would be appear to be it for Booster Gold's exploration quest. He's asking us to go back to the North Burnley nightclub which is just up here you see the big green streak spewing up into the sky there into the tap room and hello Wonder Woman All right, back to the kiosk. Gotham's East End has seen more than its share of tragedy. To those who work tirelessly to bring hope back to this troubled area, I award an official... Oh, look at that. We leveled to level 14. How timely. New instance available. You'll tell your grandchildren about this one day. Yeah, that's right. New instance available, and we got a PowerPoint earned as well. So let's see if we can find out what the instance is. 
That's another annoying thing. Devs, if you're listening, can you put a star beside whatever's new so we don't have to go through each and every menu trying to figure it out? But it looks like it's alerts. I think Gorilla Island or the Hive Moon Base. Uh, one of those definitely wasn't there in the past. Uh, let's go into our... Oh, look at that, into our traits, and we've actually got two skill points and one power point. Now, we may well have got them from here at some point because we've been getting lots of accomplishments and uh, achievements recently. Maybe we've got some power points out of this feat screen because, of course, as you know, each time you get an achievement, you get 10 points out of 100 along the top here. Uh, currently, it's 40 out of 100. And, of course, if you get it to 100 out of 100, you actually get yourself a free skill point, uh, which is very handy. So it looks like we've got some choosing to do because we've got uh, one power point, two skill points. Um, let's have a look. What do we got? Go into the skill points first because that's probably easier. I don't want to necessarily get anything in flight for now. In the bow, what do we? I really want the rain of arrows, whatever that's called. Where is it? Uh, fires a flurry of arrows up and into a target after performing a kip up, up launcher. No, it's not that one. Bow slam, might, where is it? Lunging stab, kip up launcher, long draw, impact arrow. I honestly can't find it. Trick shots. It's not that one. Oh, okay, it must be this one here. Flurry shot, launches multiple um, arrows at a target from range. I'm not sure why that's greyed out, to be honest. Maybe we need to... I'm wondering, maybe we need to get down to the bottom here. Oh, we'll try. We'll go down to the bottom. We'll get ourselves um, in a passive. So we'll get ourselves some might. Yes. No, and it's still not allowing us to... Oh, well, I... Oh. Weird. I have no idea why that's not opened up. Hmm. Oh, we'll boost defense. We'll use that point there on a passive. And we'll get back out into the power points menu, which uh, has given us one point at the moment. Let's see if there's any iconic powers, because of course we can now use them because we're level 10. Uh, what do we got? Freezing Breath, Neo Venom Boost, uh, Word of Power, Summons Lightning to Heal. No, we didn't like that one too much. Pheromone Bloom pushes back and stuns enemies. Sonic Shout. Robot Sidekick. Well, we've already got one of those. A Hard Light Shield encases you in a field that deflects most damage. Could be interesting. A Mesmerizing Lasso snags and draws in enemies. Well, we already have that in the form of the Taser. Batarang Triple Shot unleashes Batarangs to knock down and stun your enemies. That could be interesting. Um, although some defensive powers would be good. Deflect attacks, reducing damage and knocking down enemies. That could be good. What was the other one there? There was another sort of defense one. Hard light shield. In case you're in a shield that deflects most damage. Yeah, let's try that one. Never used that before. Uh, do I have to put it on my loadout menu because I can't remember? Oh, yes, I will. We'll have to replace it with something, or rather replace something with it. Uh, intimidation. Yeah, I'm going to replace it with that. So let's have a look at our skill bar now. We probably got it on number five, is it? Yep, number five. Let's see if it works. All right, so let's put a bubble around us. Of some description, not sure how long it lasts for, but that's going to give Hi, us some extra I'm defense. Gold, that's good. And this is the Booster Gold Exploration Adventure series. In this adventure, we return to Gotham's notorious East End to discover its rich history and hopefully avoid being mugged. Thank you for that Booster Gold. Perhaps we'll do that one in a future episode, but for now it's time for us to sign off. I hope you enjoyed that uh, revisit back to the uh, fun house, although we got frustrated and gave up for the last half of it. We'll return to the first half once it's reset and finish off that quest in a, another episode. 
Uh, and of course we got to see whereabouts Bruce Wayne's parents got brutally killed. Uh, so a bit of a famous landmark there. But as always, thank you very much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed that episode. More importantly, I hope you're having a great day and that you'll join us for the next one. Until then, take care. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.